Hey folks, Ryan here from Mr. L's Gaming and I've got another solo playthrough video here today and I'm going to be continuing my series of Rolling Realms designed by Jamie Stegmeier and published by Stonemeyer Games. I'm going to be continuing my solitaire mini golf variant solo playthrough series. I've already got a whole bunch of them out there and I'm just going to continue playing along. Hopefully you're playing along with me. If you haven't, if you, this is your first time, and go check out the previous videos because man, oh man, we've been having a blast on this one. Hopefully you can keep up with the score that I've been trying to establish in this thing. So welcome back. We're going to be taking a look at hole number eight today. And before we do that, make sure that you are putting a like on these videos, subscribing to the channel and just, and hitting that notification bell so that you get notified every time new videos come out. And when I go live every Tuesday evenings, all right, I've done a whole bunch of Rolling Realms. You can go check out the previous videos for how to play. We're going to hop right into the gameplay. We're going to doing hole number eight today. So let's take a look here, going over to the play area. And we've got it all nicely set up. And just to kind of remind ourselves where we have been going with this game, uh, we, we've we had a good string. Um, hole numbers five, six, and seven, we each got on the ver our very first attempt. It was just hole number four that kind of got us. Okay. Let's see if we can continue the good streak with hole number eight, which they are referring to as some of the parts. It's a par two, which means two, two attempts to, to get par. Um, we're using Between Two Castles, The Society, and Scythe for this one. Um, Society, I believe, has been already played in a previous hole. Between Two Castles is a new one uh, for the solo playthrough variant. And there's no rule changes. And for this hole, our little goals are, it says the sum of the numbers in the two castles must be the same. So the sum of the two castles need to be the same. We need to keep that in mind. You must score at least as many stars in between two castles as the highest or tied for the highest score of the two other realms. And we need to try to get at least a nine, hard mode 11. So we're going to go for nine. We've been playing on standard this entire time. And yeah, so let's take a little, a little bit of a reminder of what the society two castles and Scythe do. The society says fill cards in any order. Um, each card number must be lower than the number directly above. Uh, gain a bonus when completing a row. And then we get stars for completing triangulars of these numbers. Scythe has been a familiar one. We can cross things off and we can take, if we can manage to spend the resource at the same time, we can cross both of them off. Um, gaining resources from the top row, spending resources in the bottom row. And once you've been able to do that, you can, you know, collect some stars once we are able to do the bottom rows. Between two castles is a newer one for us. We can see if we can fill it in. It says we fill squares from bottom up. Each number must be lesser than the number directly below it. Gain resources when completing a column. So we get reason when we complete a column, but we get stars for completing rows. And it says each castle has three rows to it. Boom, boom, boom. So, all righty. Well, we've got our dice. We've got our pen. We've got, our, and I like to use some bonus dice here for whenever times we spend our resources to create more dice. I have those just to remind me. Why don't we just pitter patter and let's get at her very first round here. Let's take the two dice. We're going to roll them up and oh my gosh, that one went so far away there, but we got a one and a two for our very first round. So let's take a look here. Well, we want each card number must be lower. We want low numbers to for the uh, society but we want to start with high numbers on between two castles so let's take a look here and plus we don't have any resources to spend when we start crossing things off because that's what the thing in sight that says the top row provides resources when you mark off a top number if you can also pay for the bottom if you have the appropriate resources well, 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 let's take a look here. 
well, at, well, at least I could actually get, actually, if I did this, if I actually did a one right here on this particular spot, because there's nothing above it, that's actually okay for us all. If I put a one right there, that gets me a pumpkin. And so therefore spending a one there. And then if I do a two, I can mark off, I can get a heart on scythe. And therefore I can also spend my pumpkin automatically to get myself a star right away on scythe. There we go. So that I think that I think that'll be my very first move. Second turn. Uh, a one and a six. Okay, well, sixes are good for between two castles, and so are, um, and so are ones on here. So why not? Why not? Let's do a one on the society and try to get some resources here. And let's start off with a six in between two castles. Let's start that way. Let's go let's go over here. Sure. Getting things off. Uh three and a four for my next one. Okay. Well, well, well. Let's take a look at what we can accomplish with a three and a four. Um a well a four would actually be okay right here and so would it be over here three actually wouldn't be too bad on the bottom let's do a three right here and let's do a let's do a four over here let's try let's try it out let's try that particular way we completed a well we actually we completed two rows now on our between two castles all righty five and a six let's take a look at what we can do with those so a five let's try this way we can let's do it let's do a five right above here because then that's going to get me two hearts which then I can manage to spend at some point in time here. Uh, okay, so five right there in my six. Let's do it over six is a pump. Yeah, okay. Six gets me a pumpkin. And then I can spend a heart to get another star. Okay. And what's this thing? You must score at least as many stars as the highest. So right now they are tied. So we got, we, we're, we're good for the stars. Uh, but we've only got four out of the, we've only got four out of the nine that we actually need. So let's take a look here. Let's keep the things. Oh gosh, a six and a six. Well, 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 well. I'm thinking... Okay, so sixes don't go well over there. Uh, I can't use a six right here. Or yeah, I can't actually use a six at all on scythe. Uh, I could actually do a, but I do need to actually keep my, I do need to keep things kind of in balance. Right now this adds up to what? Nine, that adds up to 10. This one adds up to six. If I put another six in there, that makes it a 12. I do need to get some other things going on in the society. Man, oh man. Six and a six are not. Oh, but I did roll a I did roll a pair, which means I could actually do a six on all three. If the roll dice are a pair, gain a die of that value. So I could actually spend my two hearts and get another six. And therefore putting a six in all my cards. But that actually doesn't work because that doesn't work for my scythe. So let's forget that idea. Well, let's put a six. Yeah, let's put a six. Actually, no, I should probably get going in here. So let's put a six right here. Okay, yep. Yeah. That makes it 12, so it's 10 to 12, so that's, we're, 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 we're close. 
And then I guess we should put a six up over in here. Maybe we should just get a star. I'm just going to put a six right there and get ourselves a little triangular star. Okay, I think that's going to be it. Four more rolls to try to get something done. Five and a three. Oh, gosh, 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 gosh. Okay, five and a three, five and a three, five and a three. Well, hmm, I don't got any coins. So let's put a five up here. Wait, wait, no, I gotta keep things more in balance here. Gotta keep things more in balance, but I do want that coin. Hmm. Okay, let's put, I'm gonna put the, actually, three is a pumpkin, five is a heart, but I gotta spend a coin. I don't have the coin. That's the problem. I don't have the coin. Let's do the five. Cause that really amps up. That's make it 17, which means that would be really, really hard in this one. Oh dear. Okay, this one actually gets me a bunch of stuff. Let's put a three down here. Let's put a three right there. And let's put the five up over here. That completes another row, which means I do need to get another star, at least on scythe. And I haven't been able to gain, okay. Oh my gosh, big numbers again, six and a four. Four and a six, six and a four. Well, 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 well. I could get another star in the society, but a four would get me a coin and I could spend a pumpkin. And then a six, that actually might actually help me out a little bit here. So let's do, uh, okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do a four, which gets me a coin. Uh, and then I can spend a pumpkin to get a star. Okay, that's six, seven, that's seven stars. Um, and then I'm going to do a six. Doesn't really work on that one. Let's put a six on this one here. I can put it up right above here. That gets me another star there. So that's what, six, seven, that's eight stars. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna use my coin here. I'm gonna create a one value die. I'm gonna put it in here. Cause this is what, 12, this is 10, this is 15. I need at least another one. So I'm gonna put a one right above here to get myself a heart and a coin. Heart and a coin. Just to kind of keep, gotta keep things in a little bit more. Whoops, gotta keep my die. Okay, so what do I got here? 12, 13, this is at 15, so I need, oh my gosh. There's only two rolls of the dice left. Two rolls of the dice left here. Let's see what I got going on here. Well, at least I could get some resources if I can complete some more things. Okay. Two and a two. That Does that help me? Probably does. Doesn't help me here, but it could help me here getting a star. Which also gets me a star on here, but this one actually would get me a little bunch of stuff. Mm. Okay, 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 okay. Two down here. To get two pumpkins, a heart, and a coin. So two pumpkins, a heart, and a coin. We can do another two here. So what, what, what do you have? What do we have here? We're at 10, we're at 15, we're at 12, 13, 14, 15. That creep create creep ah. So now the two castles are even. And, 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 what can I do here? I can adjust a value up and down and I can create, I can create another two. I can 
I get another yeah yeah okay let's do that I'm gonna I'm gonna cross off three hearts here one two three I'm gonna create another two and I'm actually gonna put it into scythe here which I will spend a coin to get another star perfect just like that and then my last rolls of the dice are going to be four and a five four and a five which I can do a I can do a four here that gets me another star so that's one two I got three stars here gets me a pumpkin heart and a coin pumpkin heart coin that and then okay so that gets me the four right there and then I can use the five over here two five and I got da, 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 da. oh wait 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 I need to evaluate this because it says I need to have you must score at least as many stars as your highest one so if I put a five over here and spend a coin that gets me another star which means I would need to actually get another star on between two castles, which I wouldn't be able to because right now they are in balance. So let's just read Scythe here again. It says blah, 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 to gain when you mark a top row, you may also pay. So I don't actually need to pay that resource on the bottom there. So I will just do this. I'll assign a five. I'll get a heart. I'll get a heart. Actually, what I could do is I could actually then create, I could actually, oh no, wait, but then I would actually not be able to do what I wanted to do. I'm just trying to see if I can, I'm just trying to get silly. I'm just trying to get silly right here. Um, if I spend a coin, if I spend a coin, I would be able to put, get a one, uh, oh, sorry, I spend a coin, I would get a star. I could then spend a coin to create a one and sign it here, which now they would be out of balance. So then I would be able to, oh no, wait, one, three hearts. Oh wait, three hearts gets you another one of these, which would not have, which not, not be beneficial for me because I would not be able to shift it up or down. Nope, I'm just gonna, nope, I'm not trying to get, I'm not gonna get silly with it. I am not gonna spend the coin to get that extra star here. That is the end of my game. So at the end of it all, I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I got 11 stars. And how many leftover resources? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I got 11.8. Definitely good enough to for the standard level. Some of its parts, hole number eight, huzzas. Did it again in one try for us. I am on a roll, on a roll. Perfect. Well, if you are enjoying this little series on my rolling realms, please consider putting a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Notification bell is there to get notified every Tuesday when I go live and whenever these little videos come out. All right, folks, see you next time when I take on hole number eight in the Rolling Realms mini golf solo variant. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for watching.